And I get, I get stereotyped being a Scotsman living in England. I used to have long hair. I got it cut off because you guys kept trying to buy the big issue off me. <laughs> this really happened one day to me in Newcastle when I had long hair. I was outside the train station having a cigarette. And suddenly I saw 10 pence come flying through the air, land at my feet. Looked up, there's a dad with a little boy about seven. The wee boy went, there you go. And I thought, well, that's a lot of money for a wee boy. So I picked it up and I went, do you think I'm homeless? And he went, no, but now that you've picked it up, we know that you're Scottish. <laughs> I went, don't you stereotype me, young man. And then I glassed him. Yeah, so... Uh... <laughs> I recently had a health problem that you never think is going to happen to you as a younger man, but recently I had a trap nerve in my back, and I had to go to the doctor, and he gave me anti-inflammatories, which was great. Fixed my back, broke my willy. <laughs> Nothing would become inflamed. So I had to go back, and I said, that's great, doctor. you fixed my back, you've broke my willy. And he went, it'll be those tablets. And I went, well, you might have told us, because my wife's a good woman. She was trying everything. She was like, will I do a wee dance? I was like, no, don't, don't do a wee dance. No, uh, put your boiler suit on and face the wall as always. So I had to get Viagra, and I thought it'd be a case of, there's your Viagra, Mr. Scott, off you go, he'll have a willy, like Thor, right? And I did. And she was a little bit Thor as well, but before I got the Viagra, <laughs> before I got the Viagra, the doctor actually said to me, it's actually Mr. Scott, before I give you this, it's mandatory that I check your balls. And I looked a bit taken aback, and he went, oh, have you never had this done before? And I went, no. And he went, all right, do you want me to get a witness? And I thought, well, given a choice between a man filling my balls, or a man filling my balls whilst another man stands and watches you feeling my balls. I might just keep this between me and you, really. I wasn't expecting an orgy when I turned up the day. And it got very intrusive for my wife. My wife had to come into the exam. Doctor said to my wife, actually, madam, I need you to strip to your underwear. He did that, and he went, can you jump up and down a bit? He did that, and he went, you know what, mate? It might not be the tablets. She's not giving me an erection either, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 